Hello everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day. In this video we are going to be now hitting all Elden Ring bosses in Yugen Plus with an insanely overpowered build that will make you break the game entirely. The Drake Samurai is an arcane based build that can absolutely obliterate every single enemy in just a few seconds and some of them in one single attack. The Dragon Communion incantations are extremely fun to play but most people don't think about them as meta or highly effective incantations. However, these dragon-like attacks can reach totally crazy amount of damage if they are used under the correct parameters. The best part of this build is that we will not struggle with any boss fight as we can deal fire, magic and physical damage. Which means that we will not have to worry about enemies that are resistant to any specific element cause we are prepared to counter it. Another great feature of this build is the amazing range the attacks have. You can reach targets that are really far while you stay in a safe position. Despite of being very slow attacks you can actually find gaps or positions to use each one without being hit a single time. It is important to know that this build will not show its true potential unless we craft it properly. The key elements for this setup are the dragon hearts and the dragon communion seal. The dragon hearts are items that will allow you to buy any dragon incantation from the cathedral of the dragon communion on Kaili. To obtain dragon hearts you must defeat the dragon boss fights that are located in different places on the lands between. And to unlock certain incantations you must defeat their respective dragon first to be able to purchase it. For instance in order to unlock a guild's flame you need to defeat flying dragon a guild first and then you will be able to buy it. And to get the dragon communion seal you have to explore the fringe folk hero's grave and find this banished knight that will drop the seal once you defeat him. As you can see this might be a little bit more complex than previous setups but I can tell you that it is completely worth it. First of all I'm going to show you the build and then we will be the very major boss of the game without taking a single hit. We are going to be using two dragon communion seals on plus 10 to boost the power of our incantations as much as possible and to cast our main buffs. As a secondary weapon we will use the Uchigatana on plus 25 with any ash of war you find useful on the occult affinity. We will use this weapon only in scenarios where using the spells result impossible like Malenia's second phase. If you want to deal a little bit of more damage you can use the commander's standard as your aura buff but be aware that it doesn't last as long as golden vow. In case you don't have a second dragon communion seal you can use the jellyfish shield to boost your damage by 20%. I'm going to rock the white bridge set just for aesthetical reasons with the okina mask which grants 3 points on dexterity. Anyways feel free to choose any other armor set you prefer. The best talismans we can choose for this build are the ritual sword talisman, the flux canvas talisman, the roar medallion and as I previously mentioned with this build we will be capable of dealing multiple damage types. For that reason our talisman and physics setup will be slightly different for every purpose. For fire damage we will use the fire scorpion charm, for magic damage the magic scorpion charm and for physical damage we will use the blue dancer charm. In our flask of wondrous physic we will use the fate node and in the same way than with the talismans if we are dealing fire damage then we will use the flame shrouding crack tier. If it's magic the magic shrouding crack tier and if it's physical the stonebark crack tier seems to be a very good option. This build doesn't consume a lot of stamina but pickle turtle legs are very good optional items to boost your stamina recovery speed. The most effective stats we can use for this build are 40 on vigor, 25 on mind, 40 on endurance, we need to level up strength to 24, we also need a minimum of 14 points on dexterity, 33 on faith and 94 on arcane. Golden Vow and Hall of Shabriri are going to be our main buffs. A Guild's Flame, Smarax, Glintstone Breath and Dragon Maw are the main sources of damage for this build but you can also use the rest of the Dragon Communion incantations as they can be really useful and fun to play in some scenarios. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we begin with the boss fight? If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMOEXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5 percent discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. I have to take a lot of distance. Maybe here? Come on. Finally? <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Nothing is impossible guys. <laughs> Come on. Let's go, baby. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Are you ready, bro? You're not prepared for this. Bam. Bam. <laughs> Let's go. Boom. <laughs> I hate Godric, bro. <laughs> oh, he dodged the projectile already. Nice. Perfect, perfect. Let's do it. Come on! <laughs> nice, baby! <laughs> I put him to sleep twice, I guess. <laughs> Take this one. I see you. Take that one. Oh my god, there you are. Let's go. Oh my god. There you are, baby. Come on. 
Boom! <laughs> this is it, guys! Give it to me, please! Nice! <laughs> Come on, bro. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Oh, nice position. Nice position, baby. Come on. Come on. Please give it. To oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> it was possible, guys. <laughs> Is it going to be possible, guys? Let's find out. Come on, baby. <laughs> no way, this is so broken, guys. No way! No way! <laughs> Let's go! We did it, guys! <laughs> Come on. Let's go! I lost my commander's standard bob. That's very sad. Come on, buddy. Do it. Come on. No way, dude. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go! Oh my god, guys! <laughs> Finally, bro! Nice! Come on! No way, bro! What? First try, guys! What? <laughs> Come on, take that one. Take all of that. No way. Come on, baby. This is it, guys. Let's go. <laughs> we now heated my linea with a dragon build, bro. That's crazy. In this case, I will use first my pickle turning leg, my flask, howl of shabridi, and as I am going to use the commander's standard, I'm gonna use it at last. I use it.
<laughs> Let's go. <laughs> nice. No! Let's go! <laughs> hey, homie, this is going to be fire, bro. Believe me. This is gonna be fire. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, let's go, guys. Come on, let's go, guys. <laughs> wow, it was complicated, guys. He's not as easy as the golden version, bro. Nice, we get it. Come on. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Nice! <laughs> oh, shit, it was amazing, bro. <laughs> Come on, baby. What? <laughs> what the hell is that damage, bro? <laughs> nice. Oh, no way, dude. What? No! The eye frames, bro! <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no way, bro. It worked. We basically one shot at this guy, bro. Nice. Mm. Hey. That's a good amount of damage, but it's not enough. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, it's not that bad. Come on. Run. Come on. Any last words, Plassy? Boom, baby. <laughs> <laughs>